Hey folks, so just a quick heads up really. I've been very, very busy launching all of my various TV channels and the two main ones at the moment are the Academy of Arts, Telltale Club Academy of Arts, which is for all things arty and not, I would say not very much mature content. So, you know, I mean, no... Um, not much. There is a bit of erotica, but the, you know, not much erotica. I'm just getting tongue-tied, aren't I? Because it's really difficult to explain the differentiation between what is art and what is basically salacious pornography. But the, you wouldn't find anything like that on there. But I, the, you know, there are some swear words and there are um, some nude uh, artworks because you know I've always dabbled in a bit of erotic artwork. Most artists do. You're a sad artist if you've never explored eroticism of some sort. You know, you're a, I guess if you're a landscape artist, but it, you know what, even if you're a landscape artist, some of the forms that you draw are sexy as fuck. Do you know what I mean? The hills and the valleys and, you know, and they have connotations. Some landscapes are very erotic. Texture, bushes, flat. Do you know what I mean? Water, droplets, all of these things. Highly, highly erotic and sensual. Perhaps sensual's a better word. Let's let's use sensual instead. Um, but my other one, the dominatist. Now, when, when I was a dominatrix performer, I used to go around to art galleries doing this all this performance art. There's a lot of poetry and prose and um, photography and uh, films with a huge strap on. And it was all very tongue in cheek. And all of those videos are on a different channel. They're on a Vimeo channel called Dominatist, an on-demand video channel. Um, and I've, I've been sort of playing around with it. Well, how could, what could I do now? I mean, I'm bored of the dominatrix prancing about, putting men's, you know, putting men to rights. Um, I'm tired of that. That whole. <laughs> what do you call it, the the sensibility of it. It was funny. It was very, very much part of my anger and rage and feminism at that time. It's a bit done now. I'm bored of it. I've moved on. But I, I still like the idea of using m masculine erotica on feminine forms. I like that. I, it still excites me, not sexually, but as an artist. It makes me... I'm fascinated, you know, and it's why I'm, I've got loads of tattoos, you know. My, I was brought up to think only men had tattoos and now I'm covered in them. And, you know, it's that same sort of thing. It, it's a sort of feminism. It's a, a claim, you know, you state your claim on a masculine ideology or a masculine sensibility or or a masculine accessory you know and you know whether that's wearing a penis in your earlobe I've seen earrings by the way I might get some or um you know a strap-on or a, a cod cock piece do they call them cock pieces or cod pieces I think they're cod pieces aren't they you know all of these things jock straps bejeweled jock straps stuff like that um, and I've, of course, I've got this character now, the Marchioness of Dorchester, who do, who does all this poetry, and she's very, she's quite lewd, she's quite erotic. Um, and then I was doing um, Teresa and the Alien. I've lost all of those stories, by the way. I don't know where they've gone. Um, I think they were on an old Facebook page, but I've deleted everything. So sadly, those have vanished from the internet. <laughs> so they were quite cool. I used to do these sixty-second love stories. And Tonya and the alien, that's it. And they were quite risque. And I've been trying to think what to do with them. Do you want to do them on a podcast? Yawn, yawn, not really. They look much better in a visual. But it's, it's a, you know, it's a lot of work. But I think I've come up with something that I really want to do on the Dominatist um, TV channel. And that is modelling. Um, now, I'm... I've just downloaded this software, which is uh, lots of brushes and paints that really look like the authentic thing. So, they, you know, you can alter them. And it's just like using the actual brushes or inks or pencils, etc. And I've been after something like that for a long time because that's the sort of artist I am. That's how I was brought up. That's what I did at art school. I'm, 
I wouldn't say I'm stuck in a time warp because it's very beautiful to look at such drawings. I think we still have that yearning to see the texture of real paints and real crayons and real uh, oil pastels, etc. And this um, software has brought to my desire, if you like, the, the need now to draw lots and lots and lots. And I, I've been wanting to do life drawing, but it's quite difficult here. There's nowhere around here that does life drawing. Um, so I thought, oh, I'm going to just draw myself. And then I love life drawing nudes. So I thought, I'll, I'll do nude self-portraits. We'll start off with that. But then, and then I thought, well, why don't I do the modelling so I can dress up or, or have props or whatever and film myself and I'll just model. I'll be a static model. And you can access those sessions on my TV channel. So you can just play it. And and what's the difference? Well, I'll tell you what the difference is going to be. I'll use a couple of different cameras. So we'll have different angles over the same pose. Hello, darling. We'll have different angles over the same pose, won't we? I have to pretend I'm talking to Romeo. Yes, baby. Um, and the fact that there's a breathing person actually adds such a lovely dimension to the process. So for your subscription, which is, uh, I think, it, is it £10? A month? I can't remember how much it is. It's 10 or £20 a month. I think it's only 10 Um Or you can pop in whenever you like for £20 and you can watch everything. So the full Domino Artist collection, do you see what I mean? Um, so it's a really cheap way. And I'll try and do every couple of days. I'm just starting off today. So, you know, you've got to bear with me for a bit. But I'll be uploading lots and lots of really cool, um, erotic or sensual, art-focused media. So either as me as an, uh, uh, telling you how to do new drawings or, or no, not telling you how to do them, how, how I do my... What's my process, yeah? Um, because I haven't found a style, so I'll be exploring what my style is. I've got a style for photography, I've got a style for film, and I've got a style for... Um, the, the paintings that I'm doing now are using Procreate. I've developed a style that I really, really like. But I haven't got a style for life drawing because it's quite a long time since I've done it. OK, so I really want to explore all that. And um, so you can follow all that. And because it's nudes, um, it, you know, it is mature. So that won't be at the Academy of Arts, I don't think. I mean, I may put some on there. We'll see. We'll see. Um, never say never. Never say never. But... Um, as I say, I think the Academy of Arts, I would prefer to be just a little bit more um, kid-friendly or young adult-friendly. Do you know what I mean? Um, so, yeah, how exciting. I'm really, really excited about this uh, realisation. Um, and it all stemmed really from during lockdown, or basically my daughter does a, a, a fetish life drawing class in Brighton she's just set it up so if you have a look around the internet you should be able to find her and I, I, I remembered that during lockdown when we first got into lockdown I really wanted to do some life drawing and I joined a group called the East London Stripper Collective and I never actually did a, a drawing session but basically you for £10 may have been more I can't remember you log in at the set time and you can draw the models and two or three of them in different poses or whatever however it was obviously nude and with their high heels on so I told I was telling my daughter about this and then I was thinking ah, oh, I because I you know I want to launch myself as a model anyway and I thought well I might as well do that on my channel myself you know I don't want to set up a business doing it um, where I'm having to pay models and all that. I want to be a model myself. Um, and I thought, that's really that's a really good way of doing it, isn't it? Um, no, you know, I'm 61, but I've got a very unique look. So I've got covered in tattoos and I've got very long white braids, but I also wear a lot of wigs. So, you know, it's you're going to get something quite unusual. Do you know what I mean? And I think this is really exciting. And I think as artists, we want something unusual. Um, and may, maybe at some point, there'll be, you know, a bit more fetishy and a bit more dominatrix 
Um, I don't actually own any of my dominatrix costumes anymore or my strap-on. But, you know, we can explore those ideas as artists at a later date. Um, I think I would quite like to do something as the Marchioness of Dorchester where, you know, there's there's lots of paraphernalia which is a bit more creative than a strap-on. I don't think strap-ons are particularly creative unless they're covered in diamonds, which already I'm talking myself into getting one or gold. Now, so a friend of mine did send me once a link to a gold strap-on. Um, I should probably see if I can find that again. I'll go immediately. I've finished this podcast and see if I can find it. It wasn't real gold. Um, but yeah, that sort of thing. Do you know what I mean? Really over the top theatre. What I want theatre in my life, guys. I want theatre and performance, but I want it, a, you, you know, a higher level. I don't want base. Um, I don't want gutter modelling. <laughs> There are other girls who are much more suited to gutter modelling than I. And they're all on, um, what's it called? OnlyFans. And, you know, that's not really what I'm about at all. Where in the upper echelons of perversity here at the Dominatus Project. Never forget that, my friends. Never forget that. Um, So, yeah, there we go. How exciting. How exciting. I'm rather thrilled that I finally found my place um, in in the realm of the internet. A place that is safe. A place that is private because I don't know who subscribes. I I know that there are subscribers, but I know no names. So you are perfectly... Um, you know, cloaked in privacy, and that's important. Whereas when you, I think when you go to any fans, you're not, are you? I think it's a bit, a bit more public. Um, so yes, I am very, 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 very excited to launch my modelling career on my Dominatist website. Uh, internet? No. What is it called? It's a TV channel. I'm too excited to talk, guys. That's the problem. And also I've come off all my drugs. I've come off my prescription medicine. It's made me really hyper alert. So I'm having a, a mania episode, <laughs> which is quite it's quite exciting and interesting. And uh, yeah, I better get on with some art, hadn't I? So if you want to go along, um, you can see everything that's there today. I mean, there's loads, hundreds of films. Um, oh, a bit dominatist a bit domin- dominatrix based. But, you know, lots of BDSM stuff. Um, and in fact, I'm going to upload some um, f- uh, fetish waterworks footage shortly for a piece that I did. Um, I think it was called The Slut Wife or something like that. And it was very radical feminist art, nothing nothing erotic, but it did involve a urine. And you may may or may not be interested in that I don't know but there's nowhere nowhere else for me to put this stuff other than my own channel um so that's over at www.vimeo.com forward slash on demand forward slash dominatist and if you want the tame version the forward slash would say the last forward slash would be I serverlan instead but we are going now great guns on all of this and Freak's Kitchen as well which is the show which is going to be exclusively available over on the uh, Telltale Club Academy of Arts. I'm about to to start a very radical period of art in my life Um, and I'm going to thoroughly enjoy it guys and I hope you'll join me for the journey because you know it's always better with friends as it were. Um, So there we go. Lots of love from from HQ and I'll, I'll catch you later.